What's this doing? I'm single. Well, it is one. Large double room. Super professional couple. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're quite what they're doing right now. Anyway, it's strange. Really nice. Looking for somebody to look, girl? Might be. Well, I might be as well, you know. What, the bed set? What's wrong with that? We want a flat, not a rabbit hutch. Well, you could do a lot worse. You won't find anywhere cheaper around here. Have you got a vacancy then? Well, I might be able to do something for a couple of desirable tenants. Mind you, you'd have to make it worth my while. What have you got in mind? Ooh, I'll well, leave that up to you. We're not that kind of girl. Did I say that? Oh, no, what? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, right, thanks. But the papers just come out. Someone got around there half an hour ago. Oh, there's nothing else. You're not going to find anything this way. All the best places go by word of mouth. Oh, we've asked around. What more can we do? See, we've done the sums and they add up. Yeah, like they did with Frank. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, Tracy was saying she might know of a flat coming up in a month. We can't wait a month. We might not have any choice. We can always find a squat. Oh, my mum would have a fit. What are we going to do? I've handed in my notice at the other place. Oh, we'll just have to keep on looking. If we want much, it's a roof over it. Mm, it's cheap and big, but kind of. Interactive with computers. We could do things with it. Do you know anyone with a wrecking ball? At least he will be together. Yeah. We'll be one big happy family, us and a million pharaoh ants. All right, girls. So what do you reckon? It's a nice place, isn't it? It's quiet, good view. Stones throw from the beach. Do you still want references? No, I'll go easy on you this time. Oh, you're all heart. <laughs> A nice little stash you've got there. Yeah, shame it's not mine, isn't it? I've got to go to the bank later. You can definitely get another bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. We'll take it then. We will. Yeah, we'll take it, Sanjay. Good. Just uh, hand over the deposit and move in when you're ready. And any problems, just see your landlord about them. All right. What can Sanjay get you? We're not going oh. oh, I just thought I'd let you know. Me and Binny are going to take one of the bed sets. Oh, right. Oh, I thought we could find. So that's what you've been up to. Here's me thinking we had a salon to run. I'll make it up to you, I promise. But you can pop in any time. I'll do that. Got any stuff needs moving in? No, we did a bit today, but still we'll have tomorrow. I'll give you one tomorrow. Oh, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm glad I bumped into you two. I forgot to get the uh, maintenance insurance off you. What maintenance insurance? Oh, it's all part of the deal. It's just because I'm new to all this lark. I forgot to well, tell you about it. can't we sort it out tomorrow? No, 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 the thing is, I need it by tonight, really. Oh, is this on the left? Yes. No, I need 15 quid off you both. 15 quid? Yeah, look, I can't let you stay in the flat without you paying it. It's not my rules. All right? I hope you know we're not going to eat tonight now. Look, girls, rules are rules. Is that all you got? I'll uh, <clears throat> let you off the shortfall, all right? Oh, that's good of you. Yeah, well, it's Richard's rules, not mine. Looks yeah. like the sun just round again. Yeah. Well, sorry, boys, I've got to get off. I'll see you another night, yeah. all right? Oh, get out of it. Oh, I've got enough for a bag of chips. So where's Steve, then? I don't know. Maybe he slept in. <sighs> what do you think the other tenants are like? I'm not sure I really want to know. Probably a dozen psychos in there, all sitting in rocking chairs imitating their mothers and waiting for someone to have a shower. Oh, that's enough. I hope I won't sleep tonight. Pretty quick. I've had enough. We can sort it out later. Well, one of us has got to return the van for us. Well, you do it. You're a better driver than me. I thought you said you was going to help us move any stuff in. I, I got away late. I had to do a stuff check at the Vic. Grant wouldn't let me get away. He didn't need your help anyway. You got all your stuff moved in then? Yeah, everything but the mouse traps. <laughs> Better get a job lot for you then. Well, I'm going to take the van back. Um, you don't help us move the beds together, do you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Should have asked for a double. <laughs> <laughs> Might have given the game away. Yeah, sorry, wasn't thinking. <clears throat> no, I, I've got, got to get up soon. Um, I've got the, the key to the salon if you're interested. Oh, as soon as I've got the room sorted out. Yeah, sure. I've got to get moved in, haven't you? Uh, maybe see you in the Vic later. Uh, yeah. I hope you're happy here. I should have come up last night. I live with any fall. What exactly do you do? Make it up as you go along, I suppose. Hmm. Are we going to decorate? Probably not allowed to. Hmm. Look, something moved over there. Where? There, in the corner. What is it? I don't 
no, someone horrible. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Oh, take any money, it'll be back. You want to tell Sanjay? He'll soon be around for his rent, if nothing else. You can always try somewhere else. No, B. We're staying put. You, me, and the little beasties. We're in this together. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Where else am I going to be? Well, down at the salon working might be nice. What do you think you're playing, Harry? We're decorating the flat. Oh, what do you think? Yeah, very nice. What about the salon? Oh, I thought I was coming late. Ten, I said. It's nearly twelve. I should be at the pub by now. We forgot about the time. Sorry. Looks good, though, doesn't it? I chose the colour. We both did. Well, am I supposed to be interested in this or something? Oh, what's your problem? Well, it's funny, but I don't remember you being so interested when the, the, the salon needed decorating. Well, there weren't any bookings. Well, we could... that's not good enough, Della. Looks like your reputation's spreading. I've had to turn away a few punters already. It was my fault. Still, we can afford it, eh? Oh, yeah, OK, I'm sorry. There's probably people trying to phone right now. Yeah, right. I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Well, it ain't good enough. What's this doing here? It's from the salon, right? Well, there's our kettle. I wonder where that got to. I'm going to bring it back. What? And these and all. How many of these you got? She's got paint all over it. I bought them. Well, you better take it back then, haven't you? Take anything you need. Just help yourself, Stella. There's probably a few quid still left in the till. Buy something nice for the flat, why don't you? Oh, I will, thanks. <laughs> That's all it is to you, isn't it? A big joke. I'm battling to stop our business going down the toilet and you're here painting with your boyfriend. Oh, she's what all this is really about, isn't she, Steve? You just take that, like, oh. all the time. Why don't you just start giving something back? See so far. Give it a rest, will you? Will it? it was a good laugh. Sorry. Do you want to make an appointment now, then? Yeah, please. Vic. Yeah, he was all right, actually. Oh. Grant. What about the, um, 15th? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Same time. Yeah, please. I'll tell you what. You won't recognise me. Susha, do you think so? You know, she's worked miracles on my hair. OK. Good thing. Oh, thanks, Stella. Right, I'll see you then, then. OK, bye. Bye. Well, you've done something, right? <laughs> she was a blonde boss three weeks ago. Anybody's guess what she'll be next time. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe it's not a good idea. What? You work in there. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just tell him I changed my mind. No, no it's all right. Look, I do think it's a good idea to send him a bit of extra money. So? I'll think about it. What's tall, dark and handsome and hasn't got the sense he was born with? You're not still worried about Steve? Ricky. All right. To me? Yeah. About what? Ah. Oh. No. Well, what should he do? So I'm not having Steve get in the way like this. If you don't want me to work there, that is one thing. But Steve has got nothing to do with us. I just don't want there to be any trouble. We all know how he feels. About you. About us. Look, I know it's great. I know we need the money. And I know there's nothing we can do about Steve. And that's the only reason you don't want me to take it, because Steve will feel hurt. I do want you to take it. No, you don't. Well, I'm never going to see you, am I? I mean, I'm in here all day. You're at the big half tonight. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Sit at the end of the bar? You should always chat up the bar, mate. Oh, this isn't funny, Vinny. I'm serious. I'm sorry. I didn't know you felt like this. It's just... Well, since we got the bed set, I've got used to seeing you whenever I want. I really like that. Say that again? No. If you don't know that by now... If you take it, can we just see how it goes? Sure. And what will you tell Grant? Then if it's not working out, I just leave. It's not a problem. I just wanted to start playing my own way. Oh, I don't mind. I know you don't mind, but it's not fair. There's a million things we need for the room. Oh, yeah, a new duvet wouldn't go on this. Oh, so does that mean you want me to take it, then? Well, as long as you can... I'll be very careful not to hurt your feelings, I promise. Thanks. <laughs> Everything all right, Liz? I'm sorry, Della. You don't think it should be a bit more, you know... What's the word? Darker? No. Lighter. You're having... 
That's the job. Well, it was very close to where I live. Oh, that's good day. I thought you were working. Oh, I thought I'd close up for a bit, get off the shop. There's nothing in for tonight. Well, this means that I'm cooking. It doesn't. You wouldn't want me doing it anyway. Well, I was going to go and see my mum. Oh, yeah? There's a cover I've got that'll go over the duvet. I thought we should ask her whether we could have it. And I uh, thought we should ask her around. Your mum? Yeah, something wrong. No, but if she sees where you're living, well, you're more or less telling her everything, aren't you? Not necessarily. Well, it's pretty obvious. What, that you're my flatmate? What's the problem? So that's all you're going to tell her? Yeah, it's not a problem, is there? No, but why not tell her the truth? Oh, I don't want to talk about this. There's a time and a place. No one's listening. Leave it, Benny. This isn't the time. There is no such thing. The longer you leave this, the harder it's going to get. Yeah, well, look before you leave. That's what I always say. Oh, it's news to me. Do you want to know what I always say? One coffee. Don't say I'll never give you anything. Go. If I stick it for more than a week, I'm joining the Royal Marines. Oh, can I cut your hair so you like grass? <laughs> don't. What? To terminate us. I thought you said he was all right. Well, the next time, just tell me I'm allowed to judge a character. Mm. You hungry? Yeah. How about you? Oh, Darwin. Stella, I meant how'd you get on with your mum? She was all right. <laughs> she gave me this. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> how about the quilt cover? Mm. He said I'd ruin it. It's not as good as I remembered it anyway. What? The quilt cover or seeing your mum? It's written all over your face. Oh, well, she won't be coming round, that's for sure. I mean, we were doing fine. But since she found out I'd moved out for good, that was it. I don't know what she expects from me. She's not happy if she doesn't know where I am. Now she does, she's still not happy. Mothers. Yeah, well, who needs them? So, I thought we should celebrate. She won't be coming round, so it's just me and you. We never really got on. It's a relief, really. Well, I suppose what she doesn't know doesn't hurt her. Now, I I've been thinking about what you were saying, you know, about telling people. Don't do this for me. Well, that's just it. I'm not going to. I've decided I don't want to make a big thing of this, Benny. Of you. Especially not with my mum. Well, I didn't think we were making a big thing. I mean, telling her. I know what you mean. Oh, don't be like that. I'm like what? You're pushing me. If I was a bloke, would you tell her? What's that got to do with it? Well, would you? I want to know. Maybe. Well, then why can't I be like them? Because I never cared about any of them like I care about you. I mean, it didn't matter what I said about them or who I told. They weren't important. You are very important. You're very important to me, Benny. Too important that, that I just can't tell her. You're the only one I've ever wanted to tell her about, and I just can't do it. over to the salon in ten minutes, so you'll have to clean up. Oh, thanks, Mum. Mm. Do you want to go out tonight? Yeah, we could do. I just don't want to be stuck in here all night, not sober anyway. What are you talking about? This place is a palace. What's the matter? You've got a hangover. What? You've been thinking about what we were talking about? Yeah, and I'm still not going to tell my mum about it. Especially after seeing her last week. I just don't think I'm up to it. Well, it's up to you. As long as you're happy the way things are. What do you mean? Us being a secret. Yeah, well, we don't have to go around putting posters up, do we? I meant from your mum. Well, it wouldn't be the first secret I've had to keep from her. Oh, I've got to get ready for work. Don't forget to clear up. I'm looking forward to it. Mum, what is all this about? To see if you're all right. To see what you're doing with yourself. We didn't get round to discussing very much last week. You didn't give me a chance. All right. I got upset. I know that. What about me? I got upset too, you know. You never gave me a chance to explain anything. Well, I'm here now. And I'm, I'm here to see you. I've seen your salon. I've met your flatmate. Mm, I've done them all, I suppose. Is that what I'm like? Oh, you don't know the half of it, do you? Nor do you. What do you mean? I haven't come here to gloat and criticize, Della. I haven't come to check up on you, honestly. Fine. What have you come here for? To see you. I miss you. I miss having you at home. Your room looks so bare. It's not my room anymore, Mama. Yes, it is. So, this is what you want, is it? For the moment, it's a start. You left so suddenly. I didn't mean to upset you. You upset me. You always have a room at home, Della. 
You were a little baby in that room. A little girl, a teenager. It's your room. It'll always be there. I'll make a tape. 